that's in there, but they don't tell you how much of that ingredient. Um, so ours is full transparency. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, I really could have used it uh, when I get three hours of sleep Saturday night. Yep. <laughs> and uh, when I really could have used it after the. Uh, and, and Friday night last week in Atlanta. I'm just going to leave it th there. Thanks to Arma as well for stepping on uh, with uh, GNCC also. Yep. yep. Schoolboy underway. This is one of the most hotly anticipated classes out here. Going to be one of the fastest ones. Schoolboy 2. So we're going to get them on 250Fs as opposed to the 125s that we had earlier. Nate Thrasher won the heat race. Kate Nameron, those two have been battling for years, was second. The th sorry, yes, let me get the nickname right. The I coined this. I was the one that was smart enough to come up with it. Nate, the Thrasher Thrasher. Let's I, be honest. I, I don't know where you came. That's so original, man. One of the best I've ever come up with. I know. I said, <laughs> have you ever heard that before? He said a time or two. Yes. <laughs> yes. So Nate Thrasher. Now, we missed Nate last year. He got hurt a lot. Uh, he did race this race, but we didn't see him at a lot of the big amateur races, including the Red Lynn. Now he's looking to reestablish himself, and he's out front on the number 428. I'm going to turn you off so you don't say anything that Kenan will be used against you. Yeah. Okay, so Thrasher looking to thrash, yes, the field. Kay Namorine on the 32 Yamaha is in second. No, Jack Chambers has made the move. Amorine was up there. He's back to fourth. Here's something impressive. Uh, uh, Chambers finished 17th in his uh, heat race leading into this one. So uh, evidently something happening out there, I think, whenever he was racing uh, the heat race for gate positions and so forth. But, man, he is really on it here today, uh, running only about two seconds behind Thrasher. This will be interesting to see if he can keep that pace. Amarine trying to get through the pack and uh, reel him in. It looks like he's got him in sights, though, now from that third-place position as he's got the round two, it looks like. Thrasher on the short lead is on. Red Bull KTM, yet another top amateur in the holster. They're ready to bust it out at any time at any of these big amateur events. Thrasher out of Tennessee. Also backed by uh, Alpine Stars, Oakley, Dunlop, and Baker's Bakery. That's all the standard sponsors. Actually, go ahead. actually, he hasn't gotten around Kuna. That's Kuna that he's pulled up on. Yeah. I thought he was up, up on Jack Chambers, but that's actually the battle for third that we're watching here on screen right now. Hey, man, I'm impressed with Kuna. Got on the map C-Class at Loretta's, and now he's running against the establishment of the B-Class, and that's not normally how it works. Just winning the C-Class, sometimes he can be a top 20 guy, a top 10 guy in B, but to see him running with Amarine and Thrasher and Chambers, impressive. Something in the water out there in California, man. Those guys, the C-Class guys are so fast from out in California. I, it impresses me when you see them come to Loretta Lynn's, the, the mark that they're able to make. And not only C-Class, but B-Class and A-Class yep. guys, too. I mean, they're just really fast out there. Well, now I get to use some standard trivia questions. And Jeremy McGrath once won a C-Class at Loretta Lynn's. I can just, oh, we can always bust out that trivia. We, we just mentioned Jeremy, so Sepkovic wants in. Well, I just, I mean, it's funny because uh, when I was at Loretta's this year, I heard Jason telling the story about uh, Jeremy um, with Showtime on his pants. Which, yes. Uh, he was in the C-Class, bro. Hadn't really established himself. Showtime butt patch. Wow. So that I, is putting it out there. That is. So when I got back home and, uh, you know, Jeremy's my partner, and I see yeah. him all, all, on the daily, and uh, I said to him, I'm like, Jeremy, so, I mean, like, really? C-Class? You got to be feeling pretty good about yourself. Now, I did have Mr. Wonderful on mine in the B-Class, but I... Uh, <laughs> 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 did you really? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> but, but, but anyway. But Jeremy, yeah, he, he, his, 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 his rival is a much uh, better turnout for him than me. But, uh, yeah, he said that his dad actually called him Showtime, and I'm like... I mean, that was pretty. That was pretty cool, though. That uh, yeah, I would. I did Yeah, I, I thought that Showtime came from Supercross because he was such a showboat and everything. But that was something Good he. Thing. Oh, Good that's thing. yeah. Which, by the way, I didn't even know that until when I was walking through the pits last year at Loretta's. I heard Jason White and Thank saying you, that, like, oh, Jeremy shows up at you know in the C class with Showtime on his pants, and then I saw the picture they had. We there. had a photo. He had it on his helmet awesome. too, and yeah. it was like we saw that. You know, hey, this is cool. We have an old picture of Jeremy McGrath, and I'm like, wait a minute, it says Showtime. He's racing the C class, so there's got to be guys that made fun of him back then, and he got the last <laughs> lap. Turned out to be arguably the greatest dirt bike racer 
That Nate, is never throwing a leg over. Nate Thrasher, a 55-second lap time. Man, that's burning it up out there. Jack Chambers in second. Dylan Kuna still holding on to third. Caden Amorite has not been able to make that pass on him so far from that fourth place spot. Gage Linville moving up a little bit closer there in fifth. You got Adam Smurden in sixth. Seventh is uh, Garrison Smith. Bryson Raymond in eighth. Garrett Hoffman in ninth. Gage Stein rounds out your top ten as he's gaining some time up through the pack right now as well. Yeah, Kuna holding his own there in that green Kawasaki 55. Back to our leader here on Racer TV. That is Nate Thrasher. Living up to the billing. Like I said, some injuries last year kind of brought the profile down a little bit. But he is back now and looking good. And pulling away. Very good. From uh, Chambers. Chambers absolutely dominated earlier today. So this is no slouch who uh, Thrasher is running away from. You know, look at that. 56 lap time for Thrasher. 56-3 lap time there for Jack Chambers. 3.7 seconds, really, it's only what separates him. And that sounds like an awful lot, but, I mean, you take into consideration the level. I mean, these lap times these guys are running, they're all running in that 56, 55, 57 range. Oh, and oh, there's a mistake. Oh, oh. He hit a tough block, and that's what Chambers is looking for. That could have cost him everything there. You saw that, Scott. I saw that, yeah. He tried so smoothly, and it's all sudden. Hey, so so Sepco, so you raced D-Class, you know, those uh, national days. Did you ever race this when they had their amateur day way back? You were an East Coast guy. I never raced Daytona. I did race, actually, I, uh, my sister sent me a picture. Someone posted of me at Still City. I did uh, qualify for the national there, qualified at uh, Troy. Um, White flag out. High yeah, point. So, but yeah. never came down for amateur never day. Came down. I came down here with Jeff Glass. Right. Um, but I was usually uh, uh, helping him drive and or holding his pit board. I wouldn't say I was a mechanic because I could shine it and hold the pit board. But, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> That's enough mechanical for you. Hold this that. thing. Mechanical as you get. All right. Crasher on the last lap. Almost threw it away with that tough block, but holds on to it. Chambers second, Kuna third, Amarine fourth, and Gage Linville rounding out the top five with a lap to go. Uh, that's a good battle for third, but right now Kuna still has it. And there has it. I don't think there's been a second between those two this entire race. And you're probably right. I think Amaron has been right there with him the whole time. But Thrasher, remember the name. It won't be hard, obviously, with a name like that. But he's living up to it in the amateur ranks and headed to the pros. Won't be long now. I'd say about a year and a half. 